All right, some more Master in Physics, Chapter 27, this is question number six. On um, this question, we're given a question as um, in an integrated circuit, the current, <clears throat> the current density, right? Not the electron density, but the current density, okay? In two micrometer thick by 79 micrometer wide gold film is, well, that's the charge density. So the area, let's go ahead and get the area because we're going to know we're going to need it. The area is just going to be, well, let's, you guys don't know that. Let's let's start from the beginning, okay? We're asked to find how much charge flows through a 15, uh, flows through the film in 15 minutes. So time is 15 minutes, but that also is equal to 15 times 60, which is um, 900 seconds, right? And we want to know the charge. So what, looking at our equation sheet, what equations give us charge? We see that this equation gives us charge Q, which charge is equal to the current times change of time. We have T, okay? This is our T. Change in time is 900 seconds. I, how do we find I? Well, we're also get, we have to find an equation that relates to current with the current density. The current density, right? The current density, that's denoted by J. So the current density can be found by... Um, Well, it's not doesn't equal I. We have J is equal to I over A. And we can rearrange this to solve for I. So I is equal to J A. We can find A by doing the area. And we can plug it into here and we can find Q. Pretty straightforward, right? So let's get to it. So A is just going to be 2E to the minus 6 meters times by 79E to the minus 6 meters. So let's go type this in the calculator. Six times That's going to give us 1.58 to the minus 10 meters. So and then so I is this going to be equal to J, which is 7 e to the 5. That's meter squared. Amp per meter squared times it by 1.58 e to the negative 10 meter squared. The meter squares cancel on the left with amps, so which is the, what current unit is in. So 7 e to the 5, times it by that, we get a current of 1.106 e to the minus 4, that's a really small current. And that's amps. I would multiply that by time because we know one amp is one coulomb per second multiplied by the time which is 900 seconds seconds cancel we're left with 0 0.9954 or just 0 0.1 coulombs and that is indeed the answer